But yes, hello everyone, this will be an all cutscenes speedrun of Koldelka, for the simple reason that I think the cutscenes in Koldelka are quite good. I've wanted to do this, so I want to do it. Starting from raw opening the game, that's where every good all cutscenes are. We're including the system boot prompt in, the, in what is considered a cutscene. It's important. Yes, this is- we are beginning the Kodoka run. No, you are not late. We are- we are just starting. Just now. Also, since my chat seems to be confused, this is not Galarian's, this is Koldelka. <laughs> this is a completely different video game. I gotta change my bindings, because I hate the defaults. I always do it this way around. Triangle is my menu, circle is run. That makes more sense to my brain. Now, begin gameplay. And don't skip any cutscenes. Hands off the controller. <laughs> Gonna have to, like, fight my instinct to skip cutscenes. Does all cutscenes involve getting both endings? No. I'm just I'm just going to do a speedrun and I'm just not going to skip any cutscenes. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not like playing the game differently. Galarians. It's, it's, it's not Galarians. It's called Delka. It's completely different. Too early, Angel. I'm not dead yet. Not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Maybe. But you'll have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. 
business. What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, no one less a try. That thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. Delka. This game just straight up opens with a fight. Like, the first gameplay thing it makes you do is combat. It's one of many reasons this game fucking owns, by the way. How, like, how do I do the controls again? The button, that's the one, circle. <laughs> I remember what the controls are. Ten AP, wowza. Sixty nine damage, what a kill shot. That's a split. What items did he drop? Panacea smashing. Love to see it. And now we shall recruit Edward. Ver I, I definitely flinched to try and skip a cutscene there. Don't do it. Don't do it, streamer. Hey, what about him? He's dead. Really? Thank you. So I guess my time is up. Hey, Angel. I'm not going to ask you to take me to heaven. But will you pray for me at least... Are you out of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Payback time. Shut up! Keep it down! Okay, let's go. Stand up or I'll leave you here. What happened? It doesn't, doesn't hurt anymore. I'm cured. Yeah, and so I cured you, so what? You? You cured me. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused, so you really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> Do you really think that there are angels on Earth? I'm no angel. I'm just a medium with a little curing. Power. I'm I'm Edward J. Plunkett. I, I know I look pretty shady, but you don't look too wholesome yourself. I... No, I'm not like you. And this is no place for people like you. Why did you come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor? I heard something in London. That the son of some rich family bought an old monastery. Spent a ton of money to convert it into a house. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. Seems like he was having a great time. So, where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. I came all this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. If you'd come any later, no doubt I'd be singing hymns in his stomach right now. I shouldn't have bought such a good horse. She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't stop talking, I'll leave you here. <laughs> My name is Kudalka, and I'm only going to say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? Charmed, I'm sure. Now do you guys see why I wanted to do an all cutscenes run of this game in particular? The dialogue is fucking awesome. It's so entertaining. Right, I'm actually going to take this save. Because Koldelka 
is an RPG as a speedrun, uh, which means I have to contend with random bullshit, and this is a, you know, an all cutscenes run, so I'm trying to not reset. Alright, this has to go in the temporary slot. Get me a potion. It will be useful later. Genuinely, the dialogue and acting in this game, I think, is quite good. Hence, hence why I've wanted to do this. And also why I'm trying to keep quiet during the cutscene, so you guys can really drink it in. It's the good shit. It's the good shit, folks. There is an old couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Hartman, who say they are caretakers of the Nementon Nem Monastery. Pardon me. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemeton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too? You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years. Monsters. But from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks, that'd be great. Looking after others. He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been together long? <laughs> yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. We got bullets. Yay! I don't actually know if that shows up in the inventory. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poison, then I would have had some. Pardon? I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Got it? Poisoned. No way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. oh, I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. So they really were trying to kill us. But why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> 
They must be hiding something. Listen, Edward. I'm going to try to cure you now. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. <laughs> Kodalka just casually explaining while Edward's just in, like, mad pain. It's so good. Right, I'm actually going to pick this up. I would not normally do this in a speedrun, but I would like to have a backup weapon. Since this is this is the primary reset point of doing an actual speedrun, is what element you get on your weapons here. And if I get some shite stuff, I, I don't know what I'll have to do. I think I'll have to load my save and try again, although I will skip the cutscenes on my second go. You've seen them once, you don't need to see them twice. Fado knife, normal hammer, earth pipe. Uh, that will do. I think. I think that suffices. Fix the formation. Have an encounter pop off immediately because video games. It does that on the PAL version. What fun! Yeah, the knife I picked up sucked, whereas the other two weapons are at least, like, I don't know, playable. I would like to escape this encounter immediately. There we go. RPG speedruns, folks! Didn't I at one point talk about doing a cutscene percent run? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what this is. That's what, that's what dumb, that's what the dumb shit I'm up to is. Something's not right. Try to move deeper into the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you. Zero damage to me. Anyway, this guy's weak to fire, which is why it's ideal RNG if we get a fire weapon at this point in the game, but we did not. But that's fine, that's okay. Nope, not attack. Not attack, genius. You want to continue using flare. Between these cutscenes and this is OST, this is an instant wish this contender. This is a PS1 game. damage rolls, bro. I'm not about it, personally. Good gun will do me in this scenario. These are inspiringly bad damage rolls. <laughs> ah, I would have reset this by now. <laughs> Holy cow, it's still not dead? Good thing I picked up a spare weapon, this is some nonsense.
There we go. That was... That was some... That was some shit. That took ages. Two imps to agility. Two dex to agility. That was some nonsense. Happened. Oh, yes, that's right. That monster. Oh. Oh. Who on earth are you two? Hey, we rescued you, and that's your way of saying thanks. Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. You. My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. Oh, James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something, and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcomed me with open arms. That husband and wife team? And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. So nothing happened to you then? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Ugh. <laughs> this plan. It's broken now, but... Holy water ran from it until recently. But I've become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. <laughs> Just a minute. Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. I think I'll go with you. He thinks he'll come with us. Oh, how about that? Yeah, I, I wish this game had subtitles as well. The only version that has subtitles is the Japanese version, and it's only got subtitles in Japanese. Shaka. I didn't mean, okay, I forgot to form the formation. So uh, I, I, I figured that the, the version with Japanese subtitles would not be particularly useful uh, for you guys' purposes. I, I love the I love the dialogue in this game. I love the dialogue in this game. I love it so much. I just I love the part where Ed was just like, it seems like we wasted our time here, and could have just like, mm hmm, and they just they like it just they in perfect sync, like without missing a beat. The timing is so good.
What? No drops? I don't know if that enemy actually does have any drops. Get me a Dirk. Dirks are important. Chocolos, thank you for the six months. I appreciate it. Don't skip the cutscene. What a dark and depressing building. Even with the temple, you can't feel the presence of the Lord's light. I can't believe I stepped foot in this place. Where all have gone, and all must go, to be the nothing that I was. I are born to life and living woe. Lord Byron, no? I am not an admirer of his. In the first place, his poetry is unrefined. And who gave you the right to judge the refinement of poetry? Poetry should delve into the depths of the souls of the faithful. And others. It should inspire the soul as to Alexander Pope or George Herbert. If they have the power to do away with these evil spirits, I'd choose anyone. Even that dear old carpenter's son. Blasphemous! So <laughs> Pagan! How dare you utter such words of sin? To seek help from someone you've never met before is ridiculous, especially when people are dying from hunger every single day in London. Oh, they're all filthy anymore, little beggars that deserve to die. Heaven is... That doesn't sound like a demonic spirit to me. The noise is coming from that building over there. The poison didn't kill us, so now they're taking the fast and easy way now. Don't be ridiculous! Why don't you ask the bullets who's being ridiculous? You idiots! <laughs> ah, our, our protagonists fucking hate each other, and they will continue to fucking hate each other until the game is over. Anyway, I'm seeking out an encounter here on purpose because I want to get James to level 2 before I fight the next boss. I tried to, okay, well, I committed to hitting the wrong button, apparently. What's the chance we'll see RE4 VR at GDQ in the future? It depends quite substantially on whether or not uh, the next GDQ remains online or not. Because VR stuff is kind of easier to do in the online environment. Why does everyone hate Edward so much? Oh, he's poisoned too. That's not good. That didn't kill. That's bogus. Mm. <laughs> Clonk him one, mate. Good effort. Gun. Is the VR version faster? Yeah, but like, uh, setting up a VR speedrun in a live environment like GDQ is a technical hurdle to overcome, to say the least. <laughs> Upgrade the agility. Oh, I got a drop for my trouble. It's whiskey. That's not particularly exciting. It did do Alex, but it was a... Uh... Here's a boss fight, by the way. They did do Alex, but it was it was part of the online GDQ, right? I'm pretty sure, I think. Don't quote me on that. Duh. Okay, we want to target Green Dude first, I believe. Not with Kordoka, though. Kordoka wants to cast Fortify Vit on the red jewel to lower its health, because it has more health than the others for some reason. It, it does. This should be weak to the pipes, so this should do... Nice damage. Good roll. That almost one-shot it, actually. Should be able to take care of a uh, green dude without much difficulty. Funk. 
Got him. That's good. That's a good start. That makes up for some degree of having a poor plant boss fight. Because again, weapons have durability in this game, by the way, if you don't know. So using one too much can cause it to break. And if it breaks, this run's about to have some problems because there is very few backups available. I did pick up an extra knife, so I could use that, but I, I would like to not be using it for very long, because the knife I got is pretty bad. PS1? This is a PS1 game, yes. I'm playing it on a PS2, though. Ah, silence, what a pain. Casual is there ways to work around broken weapons? In casual gameplay, yeah, you, you get more weapons to use. Because you'd just be you be picking up more from, like, encounters and stuff. But a speedrun is like a boss rush, so you don't get that many to play with. Done. be okay, but it might get a bit messy towards the end of the first disc. What am I doing? I don't know if this even matters anymore, but just do it. Kosh, this guy won. Batter him. Yeah. I love PS1 games. If you like PS1 games, then this is this Twitch channel is the channel for you, because it's PS1 games all the way down around here. Now why did it move there? Reload my gun. This positioning works out for me. Bonk on one, James! Get him! I have heard of the game, Alyssa. That's where that sentence ends. <laughs> How long is this game casually? Uh, about 15 hours, I'd say. Maybe closer to 20. Necessarily great for a speed run, but then my weapon loadout's a bit janky, so that's fine. Since obviously I, I'm off, this is a resetless all cutscenes run, so I'm not exactly playing for keeps here. Equip the Dirk, equip the ring. All well and good. Go through the door, please. <laughs> Call Delka. This is a cutscene. My goodness. My goodness. This building is full of dead bodies and skeletons. It's full of ghosts and spirits. Oh, I can feel them. Oh, my head hurts. I got a bad feeling about this. Horrible. Dear Lord. Please save these lost souls. This must have happened a long time ago. Oh, and the power is so strong. If I can channel some of these spirits, maybe I can find out what happened here. Channel the spirits? Shame on you. You two should be praying for their souls. The spirits floating in this room. I can let them possess my body so they can talk. Oh. The reason I came here is I heard the cry of one particular female voice. She was... I will not stand for this. Not only do you not believe in God, but now you're going to disturb the spirits? Shut up! Would you stop bothering me? Oh. Oh. Chains. 
and darkness. Oh. oh. Death. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. There were so many of them. This is hell. Oh. What? What's going on? Oh. They were imprisoned and tortured and oh thousands of them I killed them they cut off my fingers they crushed my legs they smashed my head and cut out my guts they took everything from me they locked me up and chopped my body yeah! Go on my eyes! Oh, my ears! Oh, they're burned! Help! Help! How horrible. This place... used to be a prison. For hundreds of years, kept in secret. Whoever went against the authorities, or misconducted themselves in any way, were locked up here and killed. No! Don't touch me! You piss off! Go to hell! <laughs> so good. You piss off! Go to hell! Why don't more people talk about this game? <laughs> the writing's fucking awesome. Anyway, here's a boss. It's in a cupboard. The speedrun is mostly a boss rush. So like this, it will seem very cutscene heavy. That's by design. So this boss had a wind weakness, so Tornado is the spell of choice here. Get this guy between Kaldelka and the enemy. Bonk and one do like no damage, that's barely worth doing. Without a, without a wind weapon, regular attacks don't really do a whole lot to this enemy. Nice roll on the tornado, though. That's pretty high. It's got about 1,200 HP, so 600 is a good amount of damage to be dealing. I'm attacked with barrels. Cordelka's just wielding the knife, by the way, because it boosts her, like, magic stats. She's, she's never going to use them. She's never going to use... She's never going to stab anything. Ever. She, she's a pure magic caster for the purposes of this run. That should kill her. Just about. Just about. It's like on the dot. Oh, not quite. Back one. Uh, four agility. Four agility. Yes, that's the loadout. That's what you need. And we get a ring for our trouble. You also have to double check the closet of the enemy we just beat because there's a ladder in here. And if you don't don't get it, you can't advance the video game. It's one of those fun little quirks how that whole thing was for a key item and then it doesn't it doesn't like take it for you. I don't know, I just think that's that's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. Wait a minute. Hey. Edward. You should have just died before. I wanted you to lay down and die. <laughs> a ghost? 
called Delka. <laughs> I like the like anime title card thing after most of the pre-rendered cutscenes. What I like a lot less is that the pre-rendered cutscenes have worse audio balancing than the in-game cutscenes, which is very weird. But they are they are that way. It is it do be like that. Something's not right. It gives you that message when there's a boss fight in the room in question. Climb. You bastard. That's a random encounter, not a boss fight. Because Cordelka was too stupid to climb a pedestal. Climbing up obstacles in this game is, uh... Difficult. Because it's an RPG. It's not a... It's not a... Resident Evil-like. So there's not as much care paid to the controls. That's a boss fight. You can tell because it makes a different noise. Let me move James over here. I'm sorry, Edward over here. Doing this to bait the enemies to move in a specific way. You see, this is important. Edward gets the punch, he gets the slap. James stand here and attack ghostly doppelganger Koldelka with hammer. Bonk. She can get knocked back, that's good. There's a random chance that melee attacks can knock an enemy back, and sometimes that's to your advantage, and sometimes it don't. That didn't do as much damage as I would like. Should be fine though, hopefully. Plonk him on the bonkers. Nope, too far back. Unfortunate. Yeah, he's getting blown up by this. That's ideal, because Kildelka will basically take no damage from magic attacks ever. She borders on immune. So the way the way damage scaling works in this game is really weird. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to attack Edward then. Since that's the only option I really have available to me. Doppelganger James is down. It's important to get him first because he ha he can heal, and you don't want you don't want to give him the chance to do so. He will delay you by at least a turn, if not more. And that you see, importantly, uh, sucks. Black. Damn, that's a crap roll. <laughs> what is going on here? Get her ass. Get him, Kodalka. There you go. That's good. This is looking this is looking alright. Just have to hope that James's weapon doesn't break by the end of the fight. Or oh, Edwards. I keep mixing the two up. They're very like normal bloke names, alright? A pair of normal blokes with very normal blokish names. That's where he's- oh, what a pain. Can't you do anything? That'll do. That'll do. Buff the Imp. Buff the Agility. Everyone gets lots of vitality because we need it to tank hits. Nice panacea drops. Edward utters a deep sigh as he looks at the stained glass, and I put the controller down so I don't accidentally skip a cutscene. Did you see all those bodies? Be quite a party if they were alive. They've probably been abandoned for hundreds of years. Must be some fascinating old stories. I saw some pretty fresh ones, too. 
One who was shot. One who'd been cracked in the head with an axe. And some with no visible signs of injury. They must have been poisoned. I bet the new ones were fortune seekers like us. That old couple must You mean to tell me they killed all those people? Rubbish. All those deaths are rubbish? Rubbish. They're all liars and thieves anyway. This is still a monastery. This is still God's house, prison or no. Why all those liars and heathens are killed is none of my concern. How could you possibly say a thing like that? That doesn't sound very priestly. I am not a priest. I am a bishop. I don't give a rat's ass what you are. Look, I'm not saying that all of those people were saints, okay? But that doesn't mean that they should be put to death. You saw that old couple. They're so well-mannered, kind. You think they're killers? Good manners? Yes. Think about it. Why would they leave the place such a mess? I don't know. You think they'd at least bury the body? Possibly. Anyway, I have this strange feeling we're not alone with all these bodies and ghosts. You'd better keep your mouth shut. If you want to live. I'm gonna say it at the end of every cutscene, so forgive me if this becomes repetitive, but god, the dialogue in this game is really good. It's so good. <laughs> I love it. I genuinely love the writing. Kudel, did you find anything? No. Nothing. But... Delka. Like this is this is it's unironic. Disc two, by the way. This is a multi-disc game, don't you know? But yes, my my love of this game's writing is completely unironic. It's one hundred percent sincere. I genuinely think this game just has a really good dialogue. This one is kind of short. It's not a very long game in general. I see a pile of corpses. Darn. How does it look? You think we can get out? I don't think so. You'd need the strength of a bear to break those bars with your hands. What do you mean we can't get out? How hard can it be? Why don't you ask these guys? Damn it! Did you see that? Someone's in here. Will you shut up and get us out of here? How hard can it be for thieves like you to get us out of a place like this? Try saying that in the East End, holy man. Your severed head would hit the ground before you even finish the thought. This is worthless. I can't believe I'm wasting my time on you. I'm on a mission from God. God. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Charlotte. Not that it means anything. Not that you have a prayer. I'm talking to three dead people. Nobody's gonna save you. Nobody. So you died here as well? Yes. I died here too, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They locked me up in here right after I was born. They beheaded me the day I turned nine. Happy birthday. I've been trapped here ever since. And no one even knows who I am. <laughs> My poor little angel. <laughs> poor little angel? Me? Save your pity for yourself. You'll be dead within three days. Not true. I don't know what your circumstances are, but I know that your mother loved you very, very much. My mother? I don't know her face, her name. Where she came from? Nothing. You're telling me that means nothing? From the day I was born, the day I died, no one will ever love me. And I never want to be loved. Just die! All of you! Just die! Cool. Anyway, a fight somewhat arbitrarily happens as a result of that. It's against a ghost pirate. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, do I move him? No, I don't. I do not move him here. I do whoever move James, such that he may clonk him upon the bonkers. 45, boo! These rolls, they're low, they're low, they're low! Advance a step. No, I never swing this thing. How about you swing it? Ah! Well, that doesn't help. My strength is down by six points. That's fine. I can work around that, but it's gonna take another turn. Maybe it'll take two more turns, because that's... These magic rolls are giving me the fucking... giving me brain damage. That's not... That's not good enough. Did I, like, level Koldelka up wrong or something? Why, like, why am I getting um, such low damage? Such low damage. 500? It's gotta be at least 600, my dude. Increase my intelligence. Vit. Vit. We found a rifle. That's just a whole ass gun. Mace, it's an important weapon. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. How dare you? Hanging dude as well. Because what happens with this if you don't run away immediately on the first turn, he steps forward and instantly shoots Koldelka in the head and kills her. Oh, I got lucky. Climb the stairs, thank you. <laughs> Equip that mace to call Delka and form the final formation. If I can remember how to do it like that. There you go. I'm a smart gamer. Something's not right. Something is not right. Why is Kodoka missing health? Oh, it's because I just equipped the mace. That's why she's missing health. Hello? Oh. Hmm. Mm, go for it. That is a curious situation that probably calls for using a potion. That's like uber, uber safe play, but I don't care. We're doing it that way. Because Edward instantly took like 5 million damage. <laughs> Fortify Cordelka's intelligence, which will increase her damage. This is genuinely more efficient than having the other characters attack, because the way damage scaling calculates in this game is in absolutely bonkers increments. This might take three turns because of the way this has turned out, but that's fine, probably. I can make it work. I'm making it work. It's not RNG, it's 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 damage scaling, right? Having like a few extra points in a stat will make you do like hundreds more damage. Up to a certain point. It's it's weird. 
There's like a break point where suddenly you start to do 8 million thousand damage with your moves. And then, nope, I'm done. Do Megalith. As far as like drop chances go, it's pretty straightforward on that level. That's not quite dead, it's almost dead. Health is doubled in 20. Yeah, every point I put into Vitality gives the characters, like, another few hundred health points to play with. And because weapons have Vitality points, like, assigned to them, uh, that can- alright, he has, like, no MP. Because of he's, he's not a caster, so of course he doesn't. I just gotta skip turns for now. I'm gonna skip turns until I can get cold dog, gonna cast another earth spell and blow everyone's face up. What is he what is this guy casting? Ouch. Yeah, the American version of this game is incredibly expensive on eBay. Come on, Kodoka. Get, get it, get it done. You can, you can do it. There you go. Getting it done. Oh, I forgot to split the Phantom Pirate. I always forget to split the Phantom Pirate, though. I'm just going to take that split out, because I never remember to do it. Two imps, two agility, four vitality, four vitality, two vitality, two int. And everyone has about a thousand health except for Koldelka. And that is the way of the world. We just need to kill that boss, because otherwise we can't advance through to the next room. A lot of these bosses are somewhat... they're just kind of there, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the PAL version of this game, and, I, and it wasn't cheap. It wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap. It cost me about as much as, like, a normal, full game would. I paid about 60 quid for it. You can't run away, the game said. If you say so... If you say so, it'll work eventually. It's just dumb. It is, it's purely random whether or not the runaway function works. It's not that low of a chance, but it's not that high of a chance either. You have found a storage room filled with items at the end of the tunnel. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe these treasures are in this monastery. Is that Montaigne's signature? Oh, that's a Caravaggio. Unbelievable, truly. Why have these treasures been forgotten? Treasures. If these treasures can be contributed to the Vatican, their value to Christianity is unquantifiable. What a discovery! Do you remember what this place is? It's not just a monastery, it was a prison. People were executed for fighting each other for supremacy. These treasures must have been taken from them. Soaked with curses and hatred. You'll be cursed if you worship those things. I am a busy man that does not have the patience to teach you the importance of faith. But I will tell you why we have found these treasures. It could only have come from the guidance of God. God sees all, he knows all. Got it? Preach to the converted. What about you, Edward? You seem a little more educated than she. I don't really care. Talk to me about monetary value. <laughs> Save the holy crap. <laughs> it seems I'm disappointed once again. I believe these dead thieves are better than you two. At least they appreciated true value. Instead of preaching, I want you to understand something, okay? You can't label all those dead bodies as thieves hunting treasure. I saw plenty of dead women who were cut up and mixed in with the mummies, and they were pretty fresh. Yeah. Strange. Even if I were used to seeing dead bodies, I'd be vomiting. So it is that couple. But why? Fools! How could such a kind and faithful couple be cold-blooded killers? 
This is the work of jealousy and greed. And pagans born of savagery. Immigrants. Pagans. I will not be a party to such abusive slander. This is... this is so unpleasant. Is there a strat to avoid grinding, or is there a grinding portion in the speedrun? There is a grinding portion, but it's not really for levels. We don't really care about levels. It's about items. We need some good armor for Koldelka because otherwise she's built like a wafer. So we need some good armor to bolster her defenses so she doesn't, like, die if she gets breathed on funny. But that can happen instantly. Like, I could, I could win it in the very first fight here. Because this is the room we do it in. Give me your lion statue. This is, this is the grinding room. We want to fight that guy. I believe you want to use Megalith on this dude. And everyone else just chills. Use the wait command, not the run away command. The run away command will make you run away. Crazy, right? Ideally, this shouldn't take more than, like, one fight. Like, if I win the armor off this dude, I'm off to the races. But also, there's, a, there's also a chance of me getting some good, like, accessories for the rest of the cast. Like, I could get some nice rings to put on... Uh, Koldelka and James to boost their magic damage even further, because James at this point is in the process of being converted to a mage character. So we're into two agility. All in the vitality. Intelligence, agility. That's the way we level up from this point forward. No drop! Nil point! Failure! That's normal. I'm going to abuse PAL bug here, which is where opening the menu but mashing the menu button enables me to cause encounters to happen a lot quicker than you would normally be able to on the American version. But that being said, the encounter rate in this game is actually not that high. There's another armor, dude. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of give and take for this section, because while I could theoretically get the armor I seek on the very first try, on the other hand, having a couple of extra levels under your belt by killing a couple of, like, enemies here and maybe having a chance to get a nice loadout of, of items can very easily save time and change later in the run. So it's kind of like, this section's very loose. It's a very fluid kind of run. You could lose some time here, but you could make it up in spades later. But overall, you do still need lots of luck. You need plenty of luck. Because obviously there's the possibility that you, you fight a lot of things here and you get jack shit. Uh, after a few fights, if you haven't managed to scrounge up some armor, you, you're going to just have to start putting points into Koldelka's vitality. Because I think she needs at least, like, 30 or something like that to not get one shot by the, the next boss. Intelligence, agility. Ding, ding, ding! Done, later. Something's not right, split, genius. That's a genuine actual gold, that's funny.
Pie is piety, yes. We are going to use tornado to deal with evil tree dude. Weapon, crossbow for you. And you, my friend. You just wait. You both just wait. everyone out far. Ooh, silence. That's not what you want. I can deal with that. That's okay. We have Panacea. Panacea will... is useful to cure the silence. Ah. Practical strategies for a practical gamer. Now, if this doesn't kill, I'm gonna have to have Edward shoot the dude. It should kill, but I could low roll. Painful. That's a very low roll, actually. What a disgrace. Shoot gun! That'll do. Horn, which does not get used on the PAL version of this run, because there is a special weapon we can get instead. Right, this is all well and good so far. I think this is a yes, cutscene. You always blame everything on the savagery of pagans. Are all men of the cloth like that? It's senseless to tell you this, but the truth is... What the... Gun! Well, ain't that the darndest thing? One thing that's slightly unfortunate about having to use the crossbow to end the, uh, the evil tree fight is that the crossbow is now not loaded. And opening the menu to load it is almost certainly going to cause a random encounter. Probably still worth doing, though. The problem is, is that I actually sort of forget how to load the bow properly. There we go. Hold it. I told you if I fucking would. That's a pal bug for you. Pal bug can be very inconvenient. Leave. I have no time for this nonsense. How's doing a menu trigger an encounter? Because the pal version of this game has a bug in it that does that. Uh, and it is, and this is true, annoying. Anyway, as you move up the stairs, you come across a man carrying a gun. Without saying a word, he starts shooting at you. This boss is one of... He has a very unique uh, set of resistances, which is that he's completely immune to magic, which renders Koldelka useless here, because Koldelka is normally, you know, our, like, main damage dealer. So that's fun. But Kodoka can help to get rid of the barricades, because we cannot start attacking the dude until the barricades are gone. And that's why we needed the armor, because that will... that'll do... hella damage. And she buffed the others? She can. I've never actually thought... hmm, I've never used her to buff Edward's attack. Is that a good idea or not? That's a thought. Let's try it now. Why not? I don't know. It's a creative idea.
I think strength correlates to how much damage I'm going to do with the bow. I'm not completely sure about that, but... I do need to keep Koldoka's health in good nick, though, because if she dies, it's... She, she will lose out on experience, I think. I don't know what the exact rate of experience gain is for dead characters, but it's not quite one. But it's not zero, either. You get some. I don't actually, okay, I don't think Fortifying the Strength is doing anything interesting here. It would need to take it down from, like, four shots to three, and I don't think the buff is significant enough for that. It was worth thinking about. Because otherwise, yeah, these two, these two ain't doing jack for damage here. There's genuinely no real way for them to do so. I know people who haven't, like, played this game probably don't believe me, but it's like, oh, you know, there must be something they could do. Just, like, use a spell, a he's magic immune, so that doesn't work. It's like, oh, no, no, just get, like, get close enough and start, like, whacking him or something. It's like, we'll do, like, two damage. It isn't, it's, it's not worth shit. Yeah, the buffing isn't really doing anything worth, <laughs> worth a damn here, so forget about it. Just skip turns and let Edward do shoot. Actually, that only took... I think that was only three shots. Was it worth it? No, I don't think it was worth it. Hi, Talatu! Oh, two level ups. Fun! Trying to examine his corpse. Thief! He's been sneaking around in the shadows and sniffing for treasure. Just like us. Well, sir, explain yourself. Yeah. It's as plain as day this ruffian's a bloodthirsty killer who's been chasing us. Where are you from, Hamburg? Not that it really matters. You're obviously a dirty immigrant thief. Probably infected with cholera or something most of you are. None of your business! Where I was born, you bastard! Look, I don't really care where you were born. And I agree. <laughs> he is a bastard. But tell me, did you kill all these people? Look, I'm an immigrant. I'm a thief, and maybe I did drop a chandelier on you. But that's just because I wanted the whole pie for myself. So you, you gotta... did kill all these people! No! I swear to God! Not your god, bigot. What do you mean? It was the couple. The couple who look after this place. What? I'm telling you the truth. I've seen them. I've been down here a long time. Usually they use an axe when they catch thieves. The thieves come down here unarmed. They're stupid. They get caught from behind. I'd watch my back if I were you. Unbelievable. No, I'm telling you. The lucky ones die on the first strike. I've heard the others screaming through the night, clutching their bellies. I find them in the morning dead. No, I'm telling you, their fingers to their hearts. Right through to their organs with a pain. Look, take it or leave it. But I'm telling you the truth, those two, they're Satan incarnate. I may look shady, but killing's not my style. Look, the more wholesome they look on the outside, the colder and uglier the heart is. Just look at him! <laughs> yeah. Good assessment for a thief. You're crazy if you believe this scoundrel. This killer's obviously executed hundreds of people. He needs to be turned into the police and judged in a proper forum. We're crazy. Why? Just because he's an immigrant? Or is it because he's one of the unsaved? That's bull and you know it, you pig-headed old bigot! What I'm trying I to say is... this guy! Thieves can be exceedingly honest, you know? <sighs> Still, he did try to kill us. For that. <laughs> what did you do that for? If 
our lives cease being threatened. And it's a victory for God and all his glory, right? But if we go on letting them attack us, then the filthy, godless pagans win. Which would you like to bet on? God damn! I keep saying it, but god damn, these scenes are so fucking good! They're so good, dude! Anyway, we got a red key off that guy. It, that's very easy to miss in the shuffle, but we, we can open, like, red doors now, of which there are... two, I think. And yes, the priest dude is a prick. And furthermore, he's a prick. He's a prick for the whole game. Where am I going? Right, I remember. He's a bishop. He can move diagonally. Yeah, this this door is opened by the red key. So that's what we need. There is bodge in the desk. We need bodge. In bodge we trust. This enemy encounter is of no use to me at all, so I'm just going to flee from it. Assuming it will, you know, let me. There we go. So why is the thief immune to magic? It just is. Is it because he's an immigrant that he's immune to magic? <laughs> Let's go with that. That's a funny way of putting it. Get Valna's doll. That's a puzzle item. Here is a non-puzzle item that's still very useful to us. This is not mandatory, but holding the mask halves the encounter rate for the rest of the game, permanently. It's a funny thing to just kind of leave like that, but there it is. are immune to attack magic, and Canadians get ice resistance. You guys cannot be just writing shit like that in my chat room, okay? <laughs> Does the mask scare away the enemies? I don't know, it, it says it has like sort of spirit repellent properties or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just because this is the point where the game starts asking you to, like, backtrack across certain distances, pretty wide distances, so they thought that it would be ideal if the player could have a lower encounter rate to get through it. And I agree. It's, it's a good idea that they did that, because the default encounter rate would be too high, given how much distance you have to cover. I need to change everyone's equipment around at some point, but I'm waiting I'm waiting for a specific time to do that. Because of the the pal bug thing where opening the menu can cause enemy encounters to happen. I want to cause an enemy encounter at a certain point, but no sooner. Red key opens this door, I throw away the red key since it's no longer useful, and key items in this game fascinatingly do occupy inventory space. In one of Koldelka's many dalliances with being annoying. This music box, we need it later. And we'll be on our way. This is a big storage room, isn't it? Go, 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 go
go, go. Anyway, how are you guys enjoying? How are you guys enjoying the story of Koldelka? I think it's a lot of fun. This is a puzzle. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. This is where I want to cause the encounter on purpose, if I can help it. Or this room, it's fine, really. So this is where I'm going to fiddle with my inventory. Right, Koldelka wants to put Bodge on. Bodge. Uh, you get the normal iron axe back. You still have no, like, anything, but you get the other ring. Convenient. I want... That's not the enemy encounter I want. This is useless. Bugger! I'm looking... There's a particular enemy that could appear in this area, and if I find him... I want to fight him because he has the potential to drop an item that can let me entirely skip a boss fight later in the game. Uh, so if possible, I would like to find that, but... You know, good luck with that. Armor is only from random enemy drops in Koldoka, yeah. It's, uh... Oh, Kodoka's psychic powers are reacting to this room. <sighs> December 5, 1895. Rain. I found out that the whole 20 chicken base was 43 pigs. 1896. Rain. <laughs> I just want to make you happy. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes. That woman was Lane. She summoned me here. Koldelka! Right, well, that was enlightening. Please pick up your funny... funny glass shard. I have all three statues! Something's not right. Boost fight! Most of the boss fights in this game are completely arbitrary. My, like, Miss Fortits over here is, like, she's just here. She's just here. Anyway, this boss has a water weakness, so geyser it is. Don't trust Cordova to actually hit the damage roll on this one, so I'm having James cast as well. Gotta be at least 2,000 in a bit. I should have trusted. Damn, that was well over. <laughs> Damage James. <laughs> A fat zero. That is embarrassing. Gee, Edward, how come you get three times? James blames it on the pagans. Ha. 
Ah, well, I'll argue with that logic. Speed allocation. Anyway, here's a cutscene. There's an unusual plant growing in the cracks of the bookcase. You can feel a faint pulse emanating from it. This one's Milius. And Lambthbrick. And Michael Mayer. And Kunrus Ampithiatrum Sapienti Eterni. What a collection of books. May I ask you something? What are all these? Ancient books on mysticism and alchemy. Ancient science. It's enticing, really. It's all about making gold from lead. It's just a ruse peddled by power-hungry tricksters blinded by greed. But in amongst the trash, there are some valuable works illustrating basic useful experiments for predicting the laws of nature. Predicting a time when all men will be treated equally. God's will. No room for this argument nowadays. James. Hermeticism, you... Kabbalah, meaningless. Why? Why is it not here? What? Where else can it be? Are you looking for something? I don't understand. I don't understand. You don't understand. I don't understand. What are you grumbling about? You're acting really strange. Just cut the charade and tell us what's going on. I do not like this. We all have our reasons. Let's not delve into each other's personal affairs. I am not bound to please thee with my answers. Do all men kill the things they do not love? Hate any man, the thing he would not kill? And I thought all outlaws read just simple, stupid poets. You read Shakespeare. You're smarter than you look. That makes two of us. <laughs> Hi, Drake Starstorm. Yeah, the voice acting's great. I genuinely really love it. I just, I, I want to be clear about this because I feel like my enthusiasm for this might get mistaken for, I like, I, ironic enjoyment. No, I think it's just really good. I think it's severely above, like, severely above average for PlayStation 1 games. Press prints the original map on the old monastery, which is inscribed on the stone tablet. This is a somewhat arbitrary means of giving the player access to, uh... To a map. Because you won't have one otherwise. Anyway, I'm gonna do something kind of weird, and I think I'm gonna try and force an encounter in this room. This, I think, is the last room where it's possible to get the funky skull dude I'm looking for. And because I'm, like, playing, this is, like, not a world record attempt at all, so I'm just, I'm doing stuff. That guy! This guy! See this funky dude? That's the funky dude I'm looking for. He can drop a cool thing. This guy's getting sent to the moon. He's got a water weakness, you see. Look at it! Look at him! Look at his little waddle! Look at him. What a guy. His name is Mars. Boom. There is potential for him to drop an important item to let me basically skip the most annoying fight in the game. Uh, unsurprisingly, I would like to be able to do that. Not only because it is fast, but also because it is distinctly less headache. I think I just use flare on this. I'm not sure. I don't have like the encounter sets memorized because this comes up really rarely. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> 3,000 damage, that's... Calm down, Cordova, it's not that serious. Alright, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme a scroll. Give. Hmm... Scimitar! No, well, I won't force it, but... That's unfortunate, because that, that's not what I was looking for. Skimitar. 
force encounters. Well, it's an RPG. I can just, like, run around to make more stuff appear. But I don't, I don't want the scimitar. I was looking for a scroll. That was a scam. Scamitar. Like, I could try and get another encounter here, if I were so inclined. Because the music room is also a valid place to try and get an encounter. Is the reason for the power bug very well understood? I don't think so. Music-based puzzles. Oh my god. Nope. Da -ding. Da -ding. Da -ding. Da -ding. You know, I could try and force it again in this room. That might not even be a bad idea, honestly. Oh, I stepped on it again. Does that matter? Oh, that doesn't matter. Still, it's a really low encounter rate at this point, because I've got the mask on me. So you don't get you don't get too many chances to try and like get the funky dude. Fights can spawn in this room, right? <laughs> Am I like running around for no reason? I went from running around for no reason. I feel like this is taking too long. Hmm. Maybe not on your first time through. Odd. I'm pretty sure you can, but maybe not on the way through. What? What is that? That just a mummy? Cross your fingers. That was disappointing. Holy savior! The secret of the Fomors from the bottom of the sea. Emigre! Well. Did you say immigrate document? What do you know about the immigrate document? Where is it? Answer me! Immigrate document? Is that what you've been looking for? Hey, you crotchety old fart! I am sick of this! You don't want to talk? Fine. I'll slit your holy throat and leave your body for the rats! Edward? I have no choice. Here it is. I'm on instructions direct from the Vatican. There is a manuscript. It's said to be somewhere in the building. And that manuscript is? Right. It's called the Immigrate Document. Is it very important? For hundreds of years, it was kept deep inside the Vatican Library. No one was allowed to read it. In fact, many people thought it didn't even exist. That's weird. So why is it here now? Somebody stole it. Stolen? From the Vatican? Right. No way. Not many people could steal a thing like that from the Vatican. You really have to know the place, or have enough money. According to our secret investigation, however, the wealthy gentleman who purchased this monastery bribed someone within the Vatican to steal the immigrate document for him. Wealthy gentleman? Yes. Patrick Hayworth. My friend. But it's not like it was priceless art or something. Why would he be interested in a thing like that? For years, Patrick has dabbled in mysticism and alchemy. He's on the brink of crossing the line, playing God. Playing God? Creating life, Edward. It's thought that the ancient druids' forbidden secrets on eternal life and resurrecting the dead are contained in the immigrate document. I can't believe that. Of course, it's just silly superstition. That's why I'm here to try to convince Patrick to drop his dangerous experiments and return the immigrate document to the Vatican. Wow. You'd never guess that a lunatic like that was living here by looking at I the place. I just dropped the controller. <laughs> According to the caretakers, he lives in the building next to the temple. They said that? 
Yes, they're terrified. With all the crazy things going on around here now, they haven't even seen Patrick, yet they feel indebted to him. They've asked me here to see if I can save him. So that's your story? I don't know. One more mystery that needs unraveling. Mysteries! You with us so far, chat? This is, this is your desired context. I just wanted the glass. I just wanted glass. That's all I wanted. Can I get an encounter in here? I'm like really stubborn about wanting to test this. Can I- is it possible to get an encounter in this room? I don't think you can. It's- it-, it whatever it is, it ain't happening. Now, I would be okay with forcing one here. Trying again to try and force the funky dude to appear so I can steal his steal his scrolls. Is the counter rate really that low at this point in the game? I don't believe that. There we go. Yes, it is that low at this point in the game. God damn. That's not even a funky dude. Ah! Forget it. No funky dude. Zero percent funk is occurring right now. There's just nothing funky about this. I can't even run away. It's not letting me. There we go. The subtle sound design of their clothes ruffling while they pace around is great. It's because this game was recorded on a sound stage, right? So like it was all the actors were in a room on a stage walking around and like pacing and stuff while they recorded their lines. And that's how like they just put that audio into the game. It was like acted in that way. And I think the effect is really, really cool. And it adds, it elevates Koldelka quite a lot. But the reason that is not more common is that it is expensive as shit. <laughs> It's also subject to, like, complications. Like, there's a couple of weird mic pops as a result of, like, someone, like, brushing the, the, the microphone on the clothes. It gets, like, you can hear it go, like... The animations are synced up with the sound of people walking around the stages. It's lovely, it's lovely stuff. Is this game dubbed to lots and lots of different languages? I actually think this game only has English voice acting. Does it have a Spanish voice track? Because there's no there's no Japanese dub. I know that much to be true. What the? What's that bell? Just the passing of another day. Oh no! Today's All Saints Day. <laughs> <laughs> Today is All Saints Day.
Spooky. And here's where the game throws you a big old curveball. You gotta fight a tough boss with only one character. Called Delka versus Gargot. Now fuck this, I'm out. You cannot win that fight at that point in the game. You gotta leave. This change. That, that boss fight, you can fight it again later if you want, but it's like a bonus fight. You don't have to fight it to win the game, and I will not be doing so in this playthrough, because... Frankly, I don't think I've ever actually managed to win the fight against that dude. <laughs> it, it requires grinding. Kind of. It helps to have uh, some key items on hand that will help you out. Notably scrolls, you know, from the funky dudes that I wasn't getting. Wherefore art thou, funky dudes? See, these dudes aren't funky. I don't- these- these are not the funky dudes that I see. The funky dudes can't spawn here. Oh, I can't run away. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. text message. That's not a text message, that's a Discord ping. Good funk is hard to come by, mm -hmm. especially in today's age, you know? Do you want to climb the staircase or just look at it, Koldelka? Disabled the flow of water, and thus we can acquire our pendant. This is important, because if you don't get the pendant, you can't finish the game. It's also not a halfway bad item, I think. Can't remember what one I actually want to equip it to. I think it's this. Slight lowering of int is worth the huge increase to luck. Luck actually does increase your damage, believe it or not. Bizarre as that sounds, it does in fact in fact it does in fact impact damage calculations. What is this FFRE game? It's Koldelka. The name is in the title. supposed to be a black spot. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, you! No! No! We're sinking! Wait! My, my boat! My boat! My... Are you awake? These ruffians! You harlot! Stomp it! Have you no shame? Oh, if only Elaine had been saved, we wouldn't be in this mess. Elaine? Ah, uh, yes. She was merciful. She was benevolent. She believed me, and she was fond of my paintings. Your paintings? The sun it wasn't my fault! 
All of a sudden, there was a coal ship out of nowhere. It was dark. What could we do? It sank so fast. I was faultless. Elaine. Poor, poor Elaine. If only I had stayed with her. Hey, you! You! Hey! How's that? Just a lamp? You, I'll make you just a lamp! You're crazy! Shut up! Honey, let's stop this now. It's time to stop. It's okay. It's over. I'm sorry. My husband. A long time ago, he was the captain of a big pleasure boat. It was a gorgeous boat. He was so proud of it. But then, there was the accident. So many people died. Everyone blamed my husband. It was so difficult for him. He started drinking heavily. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? No matter how much you drink, you can't forget such a tragedy. But he met Elaine. She believed he was innocent. She helped him carry on. This Elaine, she's dead? Yes. Why is it that good people seem to die so early? What a waste. While Elaine's husband Patrick was traveling, a robber broke into their house. My husband has always said, if only I had been there for her. We should stop this conversation now. My husband is waiting. He can be so impatient, you know? Damn! I forgot it really does just show her putting the gun to her throat like that. There's something about Bessie's body that bothers you. That's the game telling you to investigate her body to get a key. What an upbeat story, huh? Yeah, it's... It's a real, uh, feel-good feel good tale. Anyway, I try and open this door. Thank God. I was so worried. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No. I'm okay. How about you? I almost got creamed by that monster. Luckily, I went down the side hallway. Walls caved in. We can't get back to the sanctuary. I figured if you'd escape from the garden, you'd be here. Thank God I took the underpass. Ah, it's no use. This door won't open. Damn it! Is we... there another way out? Aren't you underneath the arbor? There is. There is another door across from the cathedral. The cathedral, that's right. There's got to be another way out. A secret passage or something. Secret passage? Okay, let's split up. Kadelka, start from that door. We'll go along the wall. Find a place to regroup, clear? Got it. Kadelka. Yeah? Don't get killed. <laughs> Same to you. Don't get killed. Good advice for life, I think. You agreed to me, Edward and James in the library. Notably that they didn't say that in the cutscene. <laughs> Something, uh, that's that baked in audio thing coming up again. It's like, they could have added that to the scene, but they couldn't have because it was already recorded. <laughs> Something's not right. His giant. I love this guy. Look at his. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this dude. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's a sticky wicket. Stop it. Stop trying to move. I don't care. Nineteen ninety-two. 
I didn't you didn't get a chance to do this. Ouch. I always say this every time I play this game because someone else someone brought it up once and I agreed with it. This game's like sort of the music reminds me of Jade Cocoon. Which just makes me want to play Jade Cocoon. I've never streamed Jade Cocoon. Like, I've turned, turned into a PS1 RPG guy. That's how this is going to end up going for me. Anyway. Uh, I haven't mentioned it, but level ups restore all of your HP and MP in this game, which is the main reason I haven't really had to worry about healing. This run being, like, such a pure boss rush means that you just... You barely have to concern yourself with that sort of thing. Can't run away. Yes, I can. I'm the PS1 JRPG guy earlier. How many PS1 JRPGs do I run, though? I think it's just Coldelka. I sure do play a lot of RPG games, though. But I, I, I struggle to parlay that into, like, my usual speedrunning nonsense because, you know, they're long. This gets dull. This is dull. Pray at St. Daniel's grave. You feel the presence of someone behind you. A presence you felt before. Wow. Oh, I have not. I stream Parasite, but I've not run it. Judgment Day is near. The cacophonous sound of seven bugles will consume the heavens, and all sinners will burn in the fiery wrath of the Lord. Uh, but I, no, I will not die. Mm -hmm. Death knows no boundaries. It is an integral part of each and every life. Death is ultimately an act of grace and love from the Lord. <laughs> oh. A blessing, is it not? <laughs> oh. Daniel Scotius Eregina. Blameless soul. That man has not a heart to be found in his body. Though I do thank him for building the monastery here. And you are? Where are my manners? <laughs> Hello. My name is Raja Bacon. I am a monk from the Franciscan order. A monk? And I thought you were a mummy. <laughs> yes. You are quite right in your assessment of me. Sun-dried kippers may be more pleasant to look at than dull. My shriveled up appearance. There was a time when I was hailed as the foremost warlock. But my profession seems to go in and out of fashion with the passage of time. Can't do much about that, can I? You are a strange man. <laughs> That's if you can be called a man. I have given up being a man many hundreds of years ago. I am no longer a person. Though I hesitate to answer questions regarding my existence because I have yet to figure out exactly what I am. That's fine. It's not that I need to know anyway. But tell me, why were you sleeping in such a strange place? I've never been able to awake in a good mood. <laughs> and I just planned to rest for a while. What year is it, anyway? Are we still on the Gregorian calendar? Are you trying to fool me, or are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. The clock I own was too big for the coffin. It's 1898. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I've been asleep for close to a hundred years. Well, I guess there are some things that still surprise you. Watch out. When life begins to lack the element of surprise, that's when you are walking down the path to the Lord. <laughs> anyway, as a token of my appreciation, 
I'm going to keep the metal gate unlocked for you. Go through the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this for me? Well, it seems to me that your friends are running amok inside the monastery grounds. They're making so much noise. Would you mind telling them to keep it quiet? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> So that's Roger Bacon. But also, we're going to collect a secret weapon. This is only in the Pearl and Japanese versions of the game. Daniel's Cross. That was removed from the American version of the game, and... There, there's no, like, exact reason given, but the going theory is, like, censorship, basically. It's a super weapon. It's the best weapon you can get for Cordelka because it's got a bunch of magic stats attached to it. Back to the library we go. Kadoka. Edward. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. That's not completely the case. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers. Both the husband and wife. Really? Where were they? They're dead. Apparently they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery. And with good reason. I don't know. I don't believe- You should know very well what has been going on. Ogden was trying to avenge the death of Elaine. Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. All I know is Elaine's spirit called me to this place. Tell me, who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the caretakers. They took it upon themselves to murder every single robber and desperado that entered their grounds. It was a form of revenge for them. I'm originally from Ireland, you see. Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school, which I loved from a very early age. I was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England. And with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. We were both studying chemistry and embarking upon similar paths. About that same time, I began competing for the love of a beautiful woman, Elaine. And we had a falling out. I loved Elaine with all my heart. Omnia Vincent Amor. But love does not conquer all. I soon discovered that I lacked the social status and inheritance money necessary to properly care for someone so well-bred and sheltered as Elaine. I gave up my suit and made way for Patrick. To ease my pain, I joined the church and left the secular world behind. And being the perfectionist I am, the Vatican made me a bishop in charge of some very important matters. But it's been so hard to distance myself from one's emotional attachments. Although I had not seen them for 20 years, I wished them all the best in their life together. And if it hadn't been for this, I wouldn't have thought twice about seeing Patrick again. That's right, Patrick. How, how can this be? He promised me he was going to take care of Elaine and make her happy. What could 
could have happened. Being a witness to the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. And what about these monsters that keep appearing? No, there's a bigger secret we have yet to uncover. This is the key to Patrick's mansion. Shall we go? I couldn't get a girl, so I joined the church. <laughs> when, when you say it like that... Anyway, I gotta fuck with the menu, so here's another chance to force an encounter. Because I gotta put Daniel's cross on Koldelka and equip the mace, if I can find it, to James. Yes. Ah, I forced. Yay! See, I exploited Palbug to my benefit. The funky dude! Tense! Funky dude, drop a scroll. Funky dude, drop a scroll. No! Ah, funky dude didn't drop shit. Ah, what a pain. Is the cross just a gravestone? Yeah, you just heft a whole fucking gravestone with you, dude. That's the that's Kodoka's super weapon. She just picked up the grave. You can hit stuff with it if you want. Cannot believe it. I cannot believe that Funky Dude has let me down so thoroughly in this run. <laughs> Most runs I don't even see Funky Dude at all. I've seen Funky Dude twice and I haven't gotten dropped. What a pain. You can level up strength and whack stuff with it, yeah. Kodoka doesn't, is not required to be a mage. It's just what the run does because magic damage in this game is ridiculous. It's very strong. You could buff her strength instead and have her wield chunks of rock. You're allowed to do that. You can build any character, like, any way you want. There's no, like, built-in character stat growths. The characters are the way they are because I've chosen to build them that way. Because it's the most convenient. I gave those two ghost kids their dolls back so that I can get them, I can get the key that they're holding. If you don't have the dolls, they start like a boss fight, but the boss fight can't be beaten. You, you can't win. <laughs> you hear a young girl laughing softly. Suddenly, the furniture in the room starts to vibrate and space itself begins to twist. Whoa! Thus, you must fight a chair. Okay, so magic damage in this game calculates in some incredibly vast increments. Ouch. Five thousand. You'll never do five thousand damage with a physical hit. 
I mean, you might if the elemental affinity is in your favor and you get lucky and your strength is really hard. But, like, realistically, no. If you want to do, like, thousands and thousands of points of damage, magic. Magic is the way to be. Simply because it gives you it gives you better control over your element as well. The element assigned to weapons is completely random. Whereas obviously with magic I can, you know, pick the element I want to attack with. A novel concept, perhaps. Because that dress is weak to earth for some reason. Very few exceptions, magic damage is just kind of like the king in this game. It's definitely the way to be. Charlotte, stop it. If you keep this up, you're the only one that's going to get hurt. I'm not really around. I don't want your pity. I have enough. Charlotte, listen to me. I understand you. We're very similar, you know. You could never understand me. How could you? I've never been out of this place. I was born and I was executed. On the day I was killed, a priest came to me and said, Dear Lord, please accept into your glorious kingdom this poor, sinful lamb. Tell me, what did I do that was so bad? Is it my fault that I was born? If I was born just to be killed, why did she have me? Oh, I just... My mother abandoned me, too. I've been alone ever since I was a little girl, just like you. That's why... That's why what? That's why you understand me? That's why you're like me? Don't make me laugh. You're not like me. You're alive. What do you mean you're alone? What do you mean you understand? Give me a break. Oh, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. I want you to understand. I really... A curse upon you. What? A curse upon you. Charlotte. On you, on your friends, a curse upon you all. I will kill everything. Why don't you just die? Die! When everything is dead and gone, then it will be the same. Only then will you understand my pain. I know what it is to regret being born. I will kill you! Kill you! Kill you! That cutscene goes a different way if you've done a couple of actions in the game, but this is a speedrun, so it's faster to just take the fight. Anyway, she's got a water weakness. Haha, <laughs> funny happy water spell time. Edward is also here. Edward just like exists to soak up damage while Koldelka and James do all of the, you know, the actual attacking. And James isn't even gonna do that much. 26. You tried. That did a lot of damage. Actually, it occurs to me, I think I know the reason why James is doing no damage. I think I forgot to put... I think I forgot to change his accessories. That's a solvable problem. Dun 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 Hey, check me out. Uh, still just vitality all the way down. Do that. Do these. Well, 
Well, now, okay, well, I have to change the accessories now anyway, because I just gained a new accessory for Cordelka. Nice camera angle, buddy. Do it now, why not? Cordelka puts the star brooch on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it massively increases her agility. And then you get the water J ring, and you get water bodge. And you can have the air ring just for the sake of having slightly more magic defense. Why not? Party! Did you open the fucking door, Koldelka? Christ almighty. Search notes. Something's not right. Crazy. And this boss has a fire weakness. <laughs> James gonna do now that I've actually like fixed his fixed his accessories. That's a little better. Seven digits. Whoa, crazy. First. Am I about to save time? Okay, not quite, but but remember I watched a cutscene. Like a whole cut What the hell happened in my PB? Uh this should be lots of mind points. All kinds of mind points. Uh, no, this needs to be more vitality. It needs to be 75, like, base. Never go wrong with more vitality, after all. Okay. Cutscene time, folks. So this is Elaine. Yes. She's the one I had the psychic vision of. Do you doubt it? No, indeed. Good. Let's begin. It has been a long time indeed, Mr. O'Flaherty. Oh, Elaine, is that really you? Yes, it is. It is such a pity that we meet again, and I can only present myself to you in this form. 
This is the woman that responded to my voice, is it not? Thank you for doing this for someone like myself. Elaine, I haven't yet come to terms. Please tell me how this happened to you. Of course I will explain. James, 18 years ago, I was murdered by some thieves that broke into my home. I was helpless. Both Patrick and Ogden were out on business. There was nothing that anyone could do. I will not accept this. This should not have happened. Yes, Patrick responded the same exact way. He could not accept my death. He spent years and years perfecting his craft in wizardry and tried everything in his power to bring me back to life. Resurrecting the dead? Is this for real? I mean, we're not talking about Frankenstein here. Frankenstein? That novel written about a hundred years ago? He was taking it very seriously. And he had found the key to actually make it happen. The immigrant document? Yes. With Ogden's assistance and the powers from ancient druids, he held a resurrection ceremony in this monastery. But... But something went wrong, didn't it? He only resurrected my physical body. As you can see, my soul is still doomed to roaming the universe, forever separated from my body. And the terrifying thing is that my body was resurrected as a heartless monster. Monster. Although the monster may look like me, it is not me. Mr. O'Flaherty, please turn my body into ashes with your power. Ashes? But if I do that, we won't be able to bring you back to life. Mr. O'Flaherty, I was robbed of my life by those thieves, and I could hate them as mortal enemies. Choose to think that my death was preordained by the Lord. Please, do not mourn my death. It was wrong for Patrick to try to resurrect me. To undo the work of God. Please, do not be sad. Death is at the heart of God's reasoning. I urge you to destroy my body. Its existence defies the wise providence of heaven. It mustn't exist in this world. Wait, Elaine! God, curse! What a cruel world! I gave everything for your happiness, and now what have I left with? I have no meaning in my life. Damn it! What have I been doing with my life? Elaine! Elaine! Hey. Back to it. He was bringing he was boating it out. He was doing his best. Climb. <laughs> ah, getting Kuldoka to climb stuff is just so awkward. <laughs> A constant struggle. Yep. Move the statue. You found Roger Bacon inside the secret library. Wow. Hmm. I know it's around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, what took you so long? Roger, the mummy I have was in the coffin? Since when have you two been acquainted? I am no mummy! My name is Roger Bacon, and I'm just like any normal old man. 
Hey, I've been around for 20 years, and I have yet to run across an old man as abnormal as yourself. I see. Well, I've been around for 600 years, and I've seen plenty of abnormal people just like myself. My dear old man, might you be related to the great warlock Roger Bacon, who made such a name for himself in the 13th century? <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. Hmm. I am that warlock, Roger Bacon, you speak of. You mean to tell me that you were born in 1210 and have remained alive and well until the present date of 1898? Actually, to be precise, I was born in 1214. Kudelka, what type of a joke is this? That's my question. Well, this is no joke. I am the reputable Roger Bacon. Very well, then. If you were truly that Roger Bacon, then you'll be able to tell me with whom and where you studied. Now oh, that's easy. I entered Oxford in 1247 and studied under the tutelage of Robert Grosteste. Although a good professor, I would not consider him to be a wise man. I penned my masterpiece, Opus Maius, as well as numerous other books on natural science. Being a visionary pioneer, Hmm. I must say that my work has influenced generations of work that followed. But alas, in hindsight, that work pales in comparison to the work I did, copying the immigre document for the Pope. The immigre documents? I figured you would know about that book. Of course. It took me five years to copy the book in its entirety. I know everything there is to know about the book. What is it about? Oh, is it, it unravels the secrets of life that expand far beyond the largest field. It speaks of the secret rituals conducted by the ancient race of Fomors on immortality. The Fomors would claim the lives of the resurrected as their own. They reversed the laws of nature and the cycle of life. When the Druids took over the Celts, Alexander the Great penned the emigre documents in Greek for placement in the great library. Resurrecting the dead. Oh, it is true. The document has long been considered the most dangerous work of literature. It was safely guarded in the caverns of the Supreme Pontiff's quarters. But apparently, the book was not able to withstand the wares of time over generations. And the Pope decreed that a new edition be created by copying the full text. That is where I came in. The Pope requested that I copy the book word for word. And when the work was finished, apparently, I was supposed to be killed. <laughs> But I am not one to be dealt with so carelessly. I secretly escaped, and eventually I made my way to the sacred land referred to in the text of the immigre document. <laughs> and the secret rituals? Uh, don't tell me. You need look no further than myself. And you succeeded. Hmm. Though I cannot perform the same on others, yes, I have been able to escape the hands of death. But I have not been able to escape the roots of existence, which are the seeds of change. My body is not immune to change, as you can see by my hideous appearance. Hmm. I've had nothing to do other than roam the earth for the last 300 years. I've seen all I can take of mankind's cruelty. So, I returned here for some rest. <laughs> well, um, enough of this gossip. I've got some research to do. <laughs> May I ask to be left alone? Roger Bacon, guys. To, to the person in chat who asked, this name seems sus, where does this come from? Roger Bacon was a real person. I, I, I don't think he was a 600-year-old warlock, but he was a real person. Also, I just left the room and came back in because I already have the research notes. I got them before I came in. So, uh, round two. Hmm, I know it's here. I, I saw it here. I put it here. Uh, 
What? Have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. <laughs> Research journal. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Bradwin tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But that's so frightening that Personally, if Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigre document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. <laughs> I had given up discerning the impossibility of using the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. And moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oftentimes speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them uh, puppeteers. <laughs> Exploiting the human body as an object. If so, then we Yes, the resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is in Possible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? That is a very complicated question, since it already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. <laughs> it is not absolutely impossible. But I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If, if we... Throw that into a cauldron. We will successfully destroy the roots of the tree of life. Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire. No. Or water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring <laughs> forth an end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> the way it just fades out with him just going, mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway. Moving on. Moving on with our lives. Got to investigate the bookshelf, because it tells us that it says hearth in Greek. This is important information. Oh. Open the door! Kabalka, you're killing me here! Now we're in the secret lab. We, we need to come here to get an empty bottle. That's it. That's, that's the reason we came here. We needed... We needed a bottle. It's the only... It's the only thing we needed. There, there was there was no other way to get an empty fucking bottle in this. I am in a random encounter swirling around forever. We start running away immediately.
upside down pompadour, man. But yeah, there's, it's not a funky dude, so I don't care. There is one last chance to get the right item from a funky dude. There's two versions of the funky dude. This, it, the last one is a blue funky dude. Yes, okay, so our objective is we're gonna throw Daniel's arm into a cauldron to deal with the Tree of Life. We do, in fact, already have that arm. We got it way earlier. It was just kind of on the ground. I got some acid in the bottle. We need this to make a bomb. That was the whole reason for coming back down there, is literally just to get the acid. What a pain. Hey, Zabby, thanks. Thanks for the congratulations. I'm glad I get to do chicory at GDQ. Gonna have to practice that run though. It's not too long though. It's not too long and it's not too hard. Anyway, now we must weigh ourselves. Get down. There you go. What a bad timing for an encounter. There will be no funky dudes here. That's that's not funky. That wasn't funky at all. There was a lack of funk applied to that scenario. Color me disappointed. Solve a puzzle real quick here. Yes, no, no, yes, that's the puzzle. They all gotta face the same way. Anyway, this is this is the final chance to get a useful funky dude type encounter, and I'm going to try. Just because I just because, I don't know. Play the game slightly differently than I normally would on our run. Normally I just I just start the fight, but theoretically it's faster to try and get the encounter, even though I've wasted so much time trying to get the right encounter already. Move, Koldo! The game's ignoring my input. Hate that. Oh, do a black screen, love that. Right, funky dude? Funky dude? Funky dude? Ooh, a funky dude! See, there's, there's, there's another funky dude. You see him? He's, he's the funkiest dude. I don't know what this other crystal dude is weak to, though. <laughs> funky, funky dude version 2 over there has the potential to drop what I'm looking for. And frankly, he's got the health pool of a wet noodle. Are blue funky dudes the same loot table as red funky dudes? No, but I actually think the blue funky dudes have a slightly more favorable drop table. I did not kill, because of course it didn't. Give me a scroll, give me a scroll, give me a scroll, give me a scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, or I could just hang on. Let me let me level up first. Oh no 
fire scroll is the one that doesn't fucking work! <laughs> well, that's disappointing. Time to do this bad, boring, garbage fight the normal way, then. The boss- the boss has a fucking wind immunity, so air scroll doesn't work. It's the one scroll that doesn't work. He could have dropped a fire scroll, that would have worked. Earth scroll, that would have worked. Water scroll, that would have worked. No, fucking air scroll. That sucks ass. Anyway, the reason why we want the scroll, you know, not the fucking air scroll, is because, 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 this boss is a giant asshole. <laughs> and he alternates phases where he is completely immune to any incoming damage. Uh, but it's really hard to tell, and it wastes time, and whether or not he goes in and out of the, the stance that causes him to absorb all damage is completely random. So with a scroll, you just start the fight, use the scroll, and he dies immediately. Also, I have Edward set up to reflect damage, but he it just makes it so he can't attack us, really. See, right now he's vibrating, which means I cannot do anything interesting. Not, like, not, not a thing can be done with this. Tell you what, though, I guess with these dead turns, I could, like, fortify Koldelka's intelligence, I don't know. He, he ha- yes, he has an air immunity, which is very annoying. So, uh, the, the wind scroll... Uh, it's listed weirdly, but yes, he has, he, has an, he has an air immunity, so the air scroll will do literally nothing. So while, while he's busy, like, vibrating like that, I can't actually do anything to him at all. And there's, there's nothing I can do except just waste turns until he, he decides to play the game again. It's a, it's a really bad, dumb boss fight. So ideally you want to just randomly get the scroll that means you don't have to play. It's way faster, too, because normally this fight takes ages. Now, already we've started off pretty badly, because he's, he's not leaving the stance. Okay, now he has, he has now left the stance. And damage may now be dealt. Only in very limited quantities. There's a reason why I have this split labeled as horrible no good. That's plenty of damage at least. See, that's the middle of the casting animation, and while he's in the middle of the casting animation, you shouldn't try and attack him because he can change stance, but the casting animation will hide what stance he's changed to. Because... Cool. Like, what, what stance is he in? What is he in? He's in he's in a fine, normal stance for normal gamers. Although I will note that Edward's reflect has worn off, so I need to re-up that, otherwise problems will start happening. Edward being up there will prevent my backline from getting roasted. That is the game plan. Yeah, he's got like about 8,000 health, so it's it's a lot to chew through. I should have bounced, right? Why is the scroll insta kill him? Because it does like 8,000 damage. No. 
It's, it, ju it just does like 8,000 damage. I casted it on myself. That was an accident. Oh no, did I did I reflect, reflect? But okay, I don't know what I just did there. Whatever. Live with it. We're off real fast, too. Yeah, so this entire fight that has happened right now, if I dropped the right scroll, it would it would be over already. It would have been over, like, a while ago. Nope, still in the fun, no-gameplay stance. Genuinely, when he's doing that, there's, there's nothing you can do. Nothing. You, you just have to wait. It looks like he's left the stance. It's, it could be a trick, though. You gotta wait. You gotta wait until the spell is over. Oh, I, I may not have made this clear as well. When I say when he's vibrating, I can't hurt him. What I mean is that he'll actually—he's not immune to all damage. He will heal it. If I attempt to hit him, he'll heal the damage that I hit him with. I not only will not make progress, I will undo progress. He's still. This is why this fight is garbage. Because this is just... He has not left the stance in four entire turn rotations. No gameplay. Those of, you, those of you that hang around this stream a lot will know that I call bosses that do th stuff like this as bosses that don't play the game. Like like in an action game where a boss just like leaves the arena for a bit and you have to dodge balls or something. That's a boss that doesn't play the game. This boss does not play the game. This boss can just choose to not play the game. Left the stance, so time to lay on some damage while I have an opening. In the middle of the casting animation, it's too dangerous to attempt attacking because he may have already swapped back to the time wasting stance. This boss is the biggest, like, point of randomness in the whole speedrun. Okay, well, he, he didn't go back into the, the ha-ha funny no gameplay stance, so... Continue to roast. Okay, that's dead. Very slow, but it is what it is. Very slow. Sixty six agility. Not quite. Mind, mind, mind. Never mind. Uh, actually, I've overshot slightly. Neat. This must be the temple. There's no way! If I put a bullet through it, it wouldn't budge. What are we gonna do? How ironic to have made it this far and not have access to the temple. Kudelka, Edward, you both must go now. It is my friend that is apparently responsible for this disturbance, and therefore I am partially responsible for this trouble. I have no intention of asking for your sympathy, and I'm in no position to plead for your help. So from this point forward, I can manage on my own. Don't kid yourself. We didn't come along just for your sake. No, Kudoka, you should go back now. It'll be far too dangerous. Edward, you're the one who should go home. You were not meant for this world. Granted, you are a good fighter, having had plenty of experience, and I won't deny the fact that you have the killer instinct either. But when all is said and done, you are an average Joe. I am not. I was meant to exist in this realm. It's the only place I can carve out an existence for myself. Quit lecturing me! I want no part of a lukewarm existence filled with regret. No. My way is to not worry about consequences, and to do whatever it is I want to do. Chance means nothing to me. 
Life's a gamble. And once you place your bet, you'd better play to win, or else you end up dead. Edward, you really are ridiculous. That's what they tell me. Do as you like. That I will. Oh, suddenly when you feel like it, you decide when you can and cannot open doors? Wait, there's a way. Remember when we were searching Patrick's mansion, there was various chemicals around. It may take some time, but I think I can combine the chemicals to make nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin? That's great! We're talking powerful explosives here. For this door, I think we'll need a full flask. Indeed, if I drop the flask before I return, I'll be knocking on Heaven's door in a flash. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or hell. Oh, disc four. I forgot that's where the disc changes. This four final disc. We're going places. Also, I forgot to equip. I gotta, I gotta put that fancy crossbow in Edward's capable hands. SMH losing time on the disc change. I know. What a fraud. Doing the disc change for Galarians for the hotfix is gonna be such a pain in the ass. I'm gonna have to like take my headphones off because it's like it's too far. <laughs> the distance from like desk to console is too far. James has decided to remain in the laboratory in order to mix nitroglycerin. I'm going to begin my work. Can you two wait for me here? And then, uh, <laughs> what happened to the girl, Melanie? <laughs> she was gone the next morning. She left with practically everything in the room. You don't have much luck with women, do you? <laughs> well, you know what they say. The cleanest breakup is when a woman runs out on you. What a statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're lucky. I mean, to have so many people to kid around with. For me, I'm all alone. I've been all alone all my life. What about your childhood? <laughs> yes, I did have a childhood. I was born in a small town in Wales, right off the banks of the Talesian River. It was a small gypsy town. Gypsy? That's right. Gypsy. And we didn't call ourselves Gypsy. We called ourselves Rom. <laughs> See, a true Gypsy is born under the blue sky and is destined to die under the same blue sky. It's Gypsy law. So then I guess you plan on dying underneath the blue skies? Mm -mm. Every Gypsy is given a name at birth. My given name was Slato. Slato? Mm-hmm. It's got a strange resonance to that name. What does it mean? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that too must be part of the law. <laughs> <laughs> the law it is. <laughs> you know, ever since I met you, enigmatic Mysterious glint in your eyes. It must be the gypsy in you. That other good pick A glance life. from thy soul searching eye can raise with hope, depress with fear. Byron again? <laughs> yeah. You must really like him, don't you? Yes. So I feel as though we're birds of a feather. Then he must be self-obsessed as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be classified as a romantic. Oh, 
My father was a strict man. He couldn't forgive his son for failing academically. He blamed my failure on the time I wasted inventing adventures, dreaming of a utopian landscape. I was brought up to believe that dreams, the power of the imagination, as well as all the things I loved as a child, were useless, a complete waste of time. It was as if he was telling me I was useless. And then again, it may be just that. And I think I was probably born too late. By the time I was 15, everything there was to be done had already been done. The western territories were colonized. The jungles had been explored. There was no wilderness for me to wander into. No jungles for me to cut my way through. I guess that's how I ended up roaming the country. Well, granted, I picked a few fights along the way, played with fire, gambled on my life a few times. But none of that comes close to the truth I'm searching for. I yearn for something far greater. I can't quite explain myself, but it's as though I'm on a quest for some intangible treasure of sorts. Kadok, I envy you. You have psychic powers that few are blessed with. Being born a gypsy, you can choose to live how you wish. And who gave you the right to act as if you figured me out? Do you have any idea how I was raised? <laughs> you make me laugh. Adventures. Please, you haven't the slightest clue. Do you have any idea how much pain my psychic powers have brought me? My father died when I was only a child. I predicted the exact time, place, and ending of my father's life. Imagine that, predicting your own father's death. Hmm. You know, I was cursed as a child, being given powers not meant for a child. And my mother, oh, she, she was so frightened and so full of hatred for me. She tried to kill me with her very hands. The gypsy elders got together and decided to excommunicate me. I was only nine then. Do you have any idea how a nine-year-old child survives without the help of a living soul? Treasures, you must be joking. Have you ever cried and begged for your next meal? Did you ever sell your body seeking shelter from the frigid night air? <laughs> I used to be just like Charlotte. When she cried and said, no one has ever loved me. Oh, her words cut straight through me. It was me she was talking about. Just like her, I wish that everybody would die and harbor a hatred for all mankind. But you see, Charlotte has made her peace and gone to heaven. Me, I'm still alive and still all alone. No one has ever lent a helping hand. No one! Kadoka, you? I am not as free as you make me out to be. I am a poor, dirty, ignorant woman who threw her gypsy pride to the dogs in order to live. But you see, even someone like me uh -oh. can do good. Uh oh. 
is with my powers, I can help ease the pain of others. That's when I feel good about living. Oh dear. I don't need to be loved. I just want my life to have some meaning. And just want someone to tell me they need me. <laughs> You. <laughs> no way will you ever understand. <laughs> Uh, just skipping. I'm not playing this on an emulator. It's done. It's completed. Anyway, we have nitroglycerin now. Sure about the skipping towards the end there. Because otherwise, uh, I kind of think that's the best cutscene in the game. We have peaked. Just a really emotionally raw exchange. They just get piss ass drunk and yell at each other for a bit. It's a really good scene. Like, it starts off all very, like, they're just, they're shooting the shit and they're having a moment, but then, then Edward says something that, like, accidentally strikes a nerve. You know, like, deservedly so as well, because he kind of has an overly romantic view of a societal outcast, and Kodoka just fucking goes off on him. It's real good stuff. It's real good stuff. Secret. No, it fucked up on me. That sucks. Please do not drop my input. I do not appreciate it. Secret and people light. Down. Come on. Patrick. Poor Patrick. Paraffin. 
Hey, what are you doing? What's that? No, don't! I am not asking for your help. This is my problem. None of you need to die with me here. Anyway, if you throw Daniel's arm into the cauldron and call upon the power of fire, let's do it! Are you sure? Let's proceed. Saint Daniel Scotius, protect us from these evil spirits and grant us inner strength. Amen. Created and born out of dust. Now go quietly and return to thy maker. Was that necessary? James. Everything's on fire now. And we are now deep into the end game. This is a boss fight. It doesn't look like one because there's no prompt, but these these roots start appearing and start attacking us. Spam fire at it. They've all got a fire weakness, I think. I think. I'm not totally sure about that. Edward even gets to attack with his little crossbow. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the funny thing is that over the course of this this story, uh, Koldelka and Edward start to like each other more based on their mutual hatred of James. Like, neither of them really grows to ever like James. They both think he's a prat right the way through to the end. Health. What's this? I'm not about it, whatever it is. When do I get a turn? When do I get to play the game? Hello? I like completely lost track of where all. The enemies move to in the shuffle as well, so I have no idea which one has the lowest health. Is it the one in the back? It's the one in the back. It was, I was right. Spellers can level up individually with use, but it barely comes up in the run because we don't fight enough to get use out of that. Oh, 
Happy Halloween, Rowdy Ronnie. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hope you're enjoying Spooky Wales JRPG. Buff my strength. I've really, like, parceled that out quite awkwardly. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Down. There we go. Hi, a secret to everybody. Saw me on GDQ and I seemed so chill. What happened about PS3? Did it ever work? Yeah, I got it fixed. As in, I fixed it. Say, I like I got it fixed implies that I did not do the fixing. I fixed it live on stream. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was an ordeal. I am very small and I do not need that kind of stress. Thousand damage, you'd love to see it. What was the problem? The hard drive was dead, so I replaced the hard drive with a different hard drive that was not broken. Fortunately, replacing, uh, like, bum hard drives inside of PS3s is actually relatively simple as far as console repairs go. Good turn ratio. That's now the whole speedrun guide, the one I did yesterday on GDQ. But yeah, that was that was yesterday. Shoot him back. I feel like one more good hit will do it. Hopefully James should take it. No, not quite. Man, man. This guy has like 9,000 fucking health. It's a bit more than that, even. I think it's. I think it's about ten thousand. He's still not dead. This is a brah moment for sure. I'm experiencing a moment of brah. Should have used the air scroll, man. That's a lot of damage. And he disappears to the back of the arena. Uh, I'm I'm on the hotfix, the Halloween hotfix at roughly. Oh, when is it, dude? What's it? like for me? It's like for me, it's like 10:30 GMT. For other people, it's like I don't know. How do I like? How do I translate to Eastern time? House now, yeah, it's pretty soon. So I gotta, I gotta start like wrapping this up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm right near the end, so not much more doing. Go, man, go. Church. Feel a pulse in the plant. Previously steady, it suddenly beaks faster and faster until it feels as though the plant the plant will explode.
if you don't have the pendant, that laser beam she fires just roasts all of you and you die instantly. Game over. Anyway, this is the final boss. I mean, well, I'm not in the fight yet, but you know what I mean. Elaine has caught up with you. Get your thing on for this for this theme. This theme isn't this theme doesn't really fit the scenario. This feels more like something I would hear on like like, like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories or something. <laughs> Reflect is important to set up here. This this theme feels very thinky to me. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm really pondering with intensity, you know? It's a groovy kind of think. I think I can actually use the air scroll on this fight. Like if, I, if I'm going to use it anywhere, it's got to be here. I think I didn't split? No, I most certainly didn't. 299. If I use the air scroll, I think I might just win. I have an air scroll. Give it a go. Oh, that was pathetic. No, that did nothing at all. <laughs> that was a profoundly meaningless action. I mean, well, actually, it wasn't that bad. I did some damage, but no, that wasn't that wasn't so good. It wasn't as, it wasn't as effective against Elaine. That's disappointing. <laughs> That's disappointing. Kodoka can be completed really quickly. It this is not a long game. The the run is basically a boss rush. Ouch. Reflect. Reflect. She's got to be mostly dead by now. This might kill, actually. And it did, because I'm right. I know things. Um, the reason why I didn't save the air scroll to use it on the second part of the fight is because the second part of this fight is immune to air, so it would have not worked at all. It would have been even worse to do, to do it there. Yeah, the Kodoka run's really short. It's a really short run. I gotta heal Edward and James before I roll up to the, the true final fight. Like, the final fight I have to actually win to complete the video game. Elaine has caught up with you. No! This phase of the fight is pretty much the same, except now it's immune to fire and air. Which means the air scroll wouldn't work, and I gotta do very really different shit. But Reflect is still your best friend. The strategy is the same, but you gotta use different elements. The combat's a bit clunky, I won't lie. It's unique, but it doesn't explain itself very well, and it's a it's a bit clunky. A bit clunky might even be underselling it, it's really clunky. <laughs> Reflect is hella good. Clean 3,000 damage right out of the gate. That's like a solid quarter of her health. Anyway, Edward can attack now. Edward couldn't attack in the previous fight because the crossbow actually has an element attached to it. I think it's, um... What is it? I think it... Is it Earth Element by default? I don't know. The point is it's an element she absorbs, so the crossbow is no good in the first phase. It's funny how that works out. Uh, what is it? What am I doing? Geyser. Yeah. Unfortunately, my geyser is not as strong. Megalith also works, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Saknoff made this game. Oh, I've, I've poisoned her somehow. That's interesting. I'm 
also poisoned. They have poisoned her in kind. I hope both of the Reflex are up, because if it's not, then Lamau. Three thousand... One thousand six hundred and eighty-four, that's cool. Damage, damage, damage. And off she scurries to the corner. Dead. That did like no damage, but it was enough. Victory! I actually saved time on that split. Amazing. Despite this being an all cutscenes run. I mean, there wasn't a cutscene to watch there, but still. Delka. And this is the true final boss, except in order to complete the run, we need to die. Getting the standard ending means just dying here. In order to get the good ending, you need to win, but the good ending is both non-canon, and also I kind of don't like it very much, it's too happy. A bittersweet ending is necessary for this tale, so die we shall. Oh, that's not fast. That's not fast killing. That's just Ed only Edward is owned. You gotta own the whole party. Like, Coldelka and James are sitting here like... Well, this isn't the bad ending. It's just the standard ending. But you'll see, alright? Tell you what, if I kept that air scroll, I bet you actually could have won this fight. <laughs> I bet you I could have won it. Because the air scroll does like 8,000 damage. It's apparently not on Elaine 2. I can't escape, I know, I'm not trying to. And that's time, folks. Dear God, is this my fault? Do you blame me? Are you punishing me now because the path of my faith was tainted? I accept my fate. If it is your wish, then I accept my fate. He who has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity he will go. If anyone is to be killed with a sword, with the sword he will be killed. I am what I am. I am content with my lot. I have always loved you, Elaine. There must be something we can do. We'll be fine. Trust me. Okay. If you say so.
In these crazy times, young people push themselves too much. Ah, the sun came out. I prefer it a little hazier, though. Goodbye. We'll probably never see each other again. Hey, your nickname. Salato? What does it mean? I haven't even asked you yet. Will you tell me? It... It means... treasure. Oh, that's rich. I'll remember that. Treasure. <laughs> that's the last thing he says. Is it okay, child, for you not to follow him? Yeah, it's okay. I have a feeling that someday, somewhere, we'll meet again. Koldelka! And that's the end of the all cutscenes run. Uh, so I guess there are about an hour and 30 minutes of extra cutscenes, give or take. I did mess around with the gameplay portion quite a lot. But still, that was cool. That was fun. Cutscenes of this game, they're real good. They're real good. I hope you guys enjoyed it.